As we've been spending time at home, many of us have been looking for easy DIY projects that we can do to update our space. Well, look no further, we're about to get crafty. Now, I'm a big believer in making art for your home that means something to you. So why not transform one of your favorite family portraits into modern art? Christian Dare is going to show us how, but first, here's what you're gonna need. An empty picture frame with a glass or acrylic front, a family photo or headshot, cellophane or colored paper, white paper, and a Sharpie or other fine point marker. Christian, this looks like a great project. Yeah, it's a really great project. I came up with this idea as I was like scrolling through my phone, trying to like get organized, and I realized I had all these great photos of friends, of family, of great times that I often forget about. So I thought, why not make something permanent? Why not make something modern? And because it's me and it's a DIY, it needs to be chic and it needs to be cheap. I don't have a lot of great photos of myself, <laughs> but I did find this great photo of you from I think a virtual house party that I thought I would use today. I know her. <laughs> that's my alter ego right there. <laughs> I, I bet you do. So that's the first step is pick your picture and print it out. For the picture, it's always great to pick more of a headshot. So it's like your face and shoulders for this sort of project. First step. Next thing you're gonna do is take apart your frame. So you can remove the outside, put it to the side, the mat, stick it to the side, but hold on to it. And we just wanna grab our piece of glass or acrylic, acrylic will work also. So just your piece of glass, and this is what we're gonna actually work on. This is a great opportunity to actually clean it. So it's nice and clean before you start. And you're actually gonna place it right on top of your photo. So just nice and centered on your photo. Next, we're gonna grab a Sharpie. So you can use almost any color, or any set of fine tip marker. I'm using black for this particular one. And you're just gonna trace the outline. It's gonna be like a line drawing. So what I always say is you wanna focus on like just the features. So I started off doing this great jawline, right? You wanna include sort of like the nose, make sure we're also like giving you some great lips and you're just following the outline. Eyes, can't forget the eyes. <laughs> But don't worry, it doesn't need to be perfect. <laughs> it should be kind of abstract and fun. Of course, I have to include this great hair and you want it to feel abstract. And then I can't forget your great gold hoop earrings, Tracy. We have to include those. <laughs> so this is sort of your rough draft, as you can see. Now, if there's something you don't love about it, because we've worked on glass, you can use glass cleaner or even a little nail polish remover and start all over again. It will come right off for you. Amazing, okay, what's next? For the collage, you're gonna want lots of different colors. So for this one, I've actually used some sheets of Mylar, sort of cellophane sheets. You can see lots of different colors. And what's great is when you're working with these, as you overlay them, they give you new shades also. So you're gonna wanna grab those and you can just use scissors, paper scissors, not the hair scissors. Um, and cut some trim, like different shapes and sizes of different colors. So thin ones, thicker ones, every color you want. If you want a color block, you could do all warm tones or all cool tones. Now, if you don't have cellophane at home, you can also use some other stuff. So for example, you could use some old maps, some colored paper. I did a couple previews for you, Trace. This is me using some grow grain ribbon. This is me I using love some it. mat. Now we go back. So you're gonna grab your mat, put it down, and then you're just gonna lay out all your different strips. So you can make it lots of different colors, layer it on top of each other. There's almost no wrong answer. You can do vertical, horizontal. Then I'm gonna use some green tape today just so you can see it, but you're gonna use either glue or tape once you're happy with sort of your setup of your stripes and collage and tape it down. So just do it on both sides, because this is gonna be the back, so you're not gonna see it. So as you can see, I've got my colors going. And then last but not least, flip it over. And what you wanna do is take your Sharpie and sign it, right? Everyone should sign their own piece of art. So now let's put this guy back together. So grab your frame. This is the one trick, take your glass and you wanna flip it over. So you want the face chasing into you because you don't wanna clean that art later and wipe out your beautiful drawing, right? So pop that guy in, nice and easy, add in your colors, put the backing back on, and you've got a great new piece of art. You've done a great job. Oh, and I love the braids too, both of them. 